In this video, I'm going to relock the bootloader on my X10 Mini Pro. I have um, got stock firmware installed and um, a custom, uh, no custom kernel, it's a stock kernel installed. So I'm going to relock the the, the firmware on it. Um, there's a number of tools out there, uh, a number of versions of the S1 tool, um, which you need the right one, the most recent one, which can let you relock the bootloader. I couldn't find the actual um, homepage for it. Um, so I just basically Google searched for S1 tool relock bootloader and the uh, first result is a discussion over on the XDA developers forum where the um, <clears throat> the S1 tool can be downloaded. Uh, someone else had the same problem that I had where I couldn't find the one with the right restore option. So basically download the S1 tool, extract it to your computer and uh, when you've got it extracted, like I have here, run it, and you should see a screen like this. You'll notice the difference between the old version and the new one, that the new version has a restore button um, <clears throat> over there. So basically, if we click on restore, it will uh, basically come up with the usual connection thing, um, where you press and hold the back button on the phone while connecting the cable. So, so just say the phone's off, so I'm going to hold down the back button while plugging the USB cable into the socket. So let's do that now. So press and hold the back button while connecting the USB cable. There we are. And we can see that S1 tool has basically done it already. It's restored. It took 33 seconds for me pressing the button. And talking to do it. And that's it. So now if we let go of the button and to confirm it's done its job, disconnect the phone and then click on the identify button. We'll do the same thing again. Press and hold the button, connecting the cable, and then we can see over here that it's uh, produced its output. And you can see here there is an uppercase R to show that it's it's an unlocked. No, it's just, yes, it's an un, it's a locked bootloader. So it's been relocked. If it's a lowercase r, this hasn't worked. But because we have an uppercase r, the bootloader is locked.